But tonight in Auburn, man killed in a car crash is being remembered for his commitment and his kindness to others. Investigators say the hit and run driver who crossed into traffic and triggered the deadly crash was drunk and high at the time. WBZ's Katie Brace reports. As traffic rushed by in Route 20, people paused at this memorial growing in honor of a beloved Auburn man. Just respect, respect. That's a good guy. Mike Robidoux was the passenger in this Jeep Cherokee when he was killed by a hit and run driver. His family wept as they watched driver DeSouza Amaro in court. Motor vehicle homicide. Investigators say Thursday afternoon, Amaro was speeding in a Ford Explorer, crossed into oncoming traffic and into the Jeep. The surveillance video shows Amaro then running through a parking lot. Police caught him in the woods. Angel Velasquez says Amaro is a friend who actually stole his car. He's killing me. That's the worst part of it is that somebody's gone. Prosecutors say Amaro smelled of alcohol and pot and had a liquor bottle in the SUV. He was already wanted on probation violations for drug offenses and breaking and entering. Was it difficult to see him in court? Yes. Robidoux's family had little to say leaving court. He was a father of four and had 12 grandchildren. He owned Central Mass Towing. Many in the community, like Warren McDonald, say one of the good guys is gone. He was just a nice, nice guy. He'd help anybody. Before this crash, sources tell our I team that police were chasing Amaro, who took off from a traffic stop. But officers say that chase ended in Sutton. A judge ordered Amaro to be held on $50,000 cash bail. In Auburn, Katie Brace, WBZ News.